but today the feeling is as intense and pounding as the waves on the North Shore. The traffic has been backed up since early this morning as a sellout crowd waited to make its way into Aloha Stadium for what is being billed as the biggest sporting event ever staged in the state of Hawaii. The Warriors are 10 and 0. A win today and they capture their first outright WAC championship and remain alive for a berth in a BCS Bowl. Boise State is 10 and 1. They've won five straight conference championships. A win means a sixth and perhaps sets up a return to a BCS Bowl game for the Broncos. Two teams with it all on the line. Friday night football next. All of their hopes alive. He kicked a field goal with 11 seconds to go in Reno to beat the Nevada Wolfpack. His kickoff down to Rashawn Scott. And he's driven down at the 24 yard line. Team mascot for the last nine years. Deafening noise, third down and five. Tharp gets it off, first down and more. Out to the 30. It's Julian Hawkins. We'll find the open receiver when given time. Tharp averaging 258 yards per game passing, completing 69% of his passes, and he has one of the best running backs in the country to hand it off to as well. Go to Oregon, Washington, Washington State, chose Boise State for the chance to play right away. Johnson carries for the first down and third and two. Releasing of last year when they went 13 and 0, the only undefeated team in the country. And here's Ian Johnson ripping through. He may go inside the 10. Touchdown, Boise State. Kyle Bronsman, perfect on the year, 59 out of 59 in PA. Familiar run and shoot set of four wide receivers. And that pass in place. So there's another third down for Hawaii. And a quick throw, a timing play. And it is caught for a first down. Hendrick is a good corner. Brennan with all data thrown. He's going deep, throwing into double coverage. And it is caught. The receiver won the battle. C.J. Hawthorne, the converted defensive. 48 catches entering today's action. First and goal, Brennan corner in the end zone. Juggling catch, touchdown. Ryan Grice Mullen. I wonder if they'll review it. Looked like he might have been juggling it as he went across the sideline with Wilson and to confirm the call on the field because they're not stopping the action. And the extra point is up and good by Dan Kelly. Third and nine, lots of time, a man open and a first down. Jeremy Childs. Out of big play there by Watson, a good student. 3.6 grade point average in environmental studies. Third and six and Fark incomplete. Looking for Titus Young at midfield. Brian Grice Mullen wide open and out to the 33 yard line. They got out just like Chris Spielman. <laughs> Second and two, Brennan on target again. First down out to the 49 yard line to Jason Rivers from mid 49 yard line. The winner wins the WAC title outright. Jason Rivers battling at 6'2, 189 pounds. The 24, Boise State. First and 10, Hawaii. Quick little hitter to C.J. Hawthorne. He can fly. Upended and down at the one. Orlando Skandrick came off his man in the East against Hawaii than most of the teams the Warriors play. Brennan keeps and scores. Touchdown, Hawaii. Brennan's eighth rushing touchdown of the season. And Kelly's extra point is blocked. This has happened in the past in these Boise State games against Hawaii. They returned a blocked extra point for two points last year. That ball got knocked out of bounds after Kyle Ging pinned first and ten from the 43 for Boise State. The play action pass for Taylor Tharp. And a completion to one of the four tight ends they use regularly. That's Richie Brockle for another. 
He really got a lot of attention for that imaginative play calling at the end of the Fiesta Bowl win over Oklahoma. There's a strike by Tharp and another first down. They continue to convert. That was second and one win over Oklahoma. Third down and ten. Tharp with a lot of time. Nowhere to throw it. Still looking. Has men now. First down, Ian Johnson out of the backfield inside the two. Extra point would give them the lead. The pitch to Johnson bounces into the end zone. Boy, did he read that beautifully. Touchdown, Broncos. An extra point away from the lead. And a great job of putting them right there. See him. And here's Kyle Brotsman with the PAT for the lead. The former walk on redshirt freshman running back is Kealoa Polaris a freshman he stayed in the block and it's a first down to the 49 yard line to Ryan Grice Mullen because they do take shots. There are seven active receivers in the country with 3000 receiving yards Hawaii has three of the seven. Brennan throws and the yardage total grows for Rivers. He goes to the 37 yard line. Under seven minutes to go. The shovel pass to the freshman Polaris. He's missed the last couple of weeks with a bad knee. Second down nine. Hawaii on the move down by a point. Under six minutes to go in the half. There's a strike by Brennan inside the five. Touchdown to Vaughn Bess. And determination. And that extra point is deflected and no good. Well, loss of three on first down. 2.36 to go on the clock running in the half. A blitz. Tharp got it off and it is caught by Austin Pettis. Look. Deafening noise and a blitz on third down and nine. Tharp end zone and it is incomplete. And no flags thrown. Ryan moved top 10 inside 40 this year. 13 out of 14 for the year. Only one miss, and it was a block. And that one's good. <laughs> well, Brennan trying to guard gain on the shovel to Polaris. Hawaii leads 19-17. The opening minute of the second half. Oh, that run after the catch by Devon Bess. Chris Peterson won't be happy with that number. He felt it was a key to the game. Tackle those receivers after the catch. You know they're going to get their catches. Devon Best gets another one to the 41 yard line of Boise State. Marty Tadman, the All American. Good, solid football player, smart football player. Another quick throw and catch, and it's Jason Rivers down the far sideline. Tackled by Austin Smith. Games in the combine will make the difference for Colt Brennan. Right now, he has him as his seventh rated senior QB. All right, Quint, thank you. He swings it out the left flat to Devon Biss. Run after the catch. Leap into the end zone. Touchdown. Flag down in the end zone. Woods. Best says he unknowingly was helping them move it from one place to another. They all got in trouble. Be a herky or a board jump. And they give it to Ian Johnson, and he got smoked. Walloped at the 42-yard line by David Vecune. Play action on fourth and two. A man wide open in the flat. Richie Brockle to the 26. Well, the drive is alive for Boise State. Under 11 minutes to go, third quarter. They're down by nine. Avery bounced off the pile and showed his explosion. Defensive player you will have. And a little trickery. Johnson gave it off on the inside to Avery. And right over 200 pounds. At 6-2. He comes out throwing. It's Brockle again. Touchdown. Trust, baby, trust. Trust your plays, trust your players to execute. And Tharp, his 28th touchdown pass of the season. And the extra point by Broxman gets Boise State. An interception, he's 26 out of 33. Hawaii has rushed for two yards in this game. Brennan intercepted. Threw it right into the hands of Dallas Dobbs. And the run back to the 23 yards and shoulder injuries that have his arm in a harness. 
Now third down at 11. Tharp takes off. Oh, he took a wallop again. This one from Elamimian. Lead for Boise State. Kyle Brotsman from 37 yards. How good is he? Boise State with 10 unanswered points. Well, and a reputation. Decent. Yeah. Louisiana Tech's had a very nice year under Derek Dooley, their new coach. Devon Best, the catch. A great point about talent on both sides of the ball for Boise and Hawaii. Brennan retreating. Now finds a running lane and slides down to the 33 yard line. Probably going to move up. Yeah. And that or, or Ohio State getting in the national championship game, which will eliminate a Big Ten team from the BCS Bowl. You continue to pound that drum, and it is in players on both sides. And Tennessee needed a last second field goal to beat Vanderbilt and still left over Boise State. Ryan Grice Mullen. Third down and five. They can get a first down at the two. Brennan throws quickly, and it is caught! Touchdown! Jason Rivers with Kyle Wilson, a starting cornerback, draped all over him. This situation with this much time left. And given the extra point problems, why not? Brennan back of the end zone, incomplete. Looking for Devon Best with two defenders near him. Playing great football. Five man rush. Tharp stumbles down. Back at the 33. Second sack, and it's Blaze Soares again. Right. Brennan throws caught. Plenty of room. Devon Best. Hurdled one would be tackler who was diving in his left. Two touchdowns for Bess. Runs a 4-4-40 at 5'10, 190 pounds. Brennan forced to step up, wings it deep. Man behind the defense. Touchdown, CJ Hawthorne. Touchdown pass. Kelly kicks the extra point. Canyon Bissell's a quarterback. They go out of the shotgun on first down. He runs an option pitch to Jeremy Avery, who turned the corner and got out to the 47 yard line. Solomon Elamimian, fifth year senior, first year starter, waited a long time to play in games like this. Now he has to make plays, and he does. A bullet to Jeremy Childs. And back on the field. Second and ten, midway through the fourth quarter, a screen. Ian Johnson, a great move at the line, and has a first down. It was Ella Mimian who ran him down, but that's the only loss in two seasons for Chris Peters and his head coach. A blitz on third and six. Clark with time, and it's broken up. Intended for Childs, it's Ryan Mouton who's been out. They're three for three on fourth down tonight. Acknowledge that this is an impressive win for Hawaii if it stays in the win column. Kealoa Polaris, the freshman smart enough to go down in bounds. Marty Tep. Brennan took the snap at two. Short pass to Bess. And he's had a career night. Office building. You'd be amazed that they could have this kind of success with their facilities in, quite frankly, an embarrassing state of disrepair. The University of Hawaii Warriors, for the first time in the history of the program, are outright WAC champions. Their third conference title in all in 29 years. They are a case when the Washington Huskies will come to town to try to spoil the Warriors party. Final score, Hawaii 39, Boise State 27. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now for Chris Spielman, Quint Kessenick, and the rest of our ESPN2 crew, Sean McDonough saying, Happy Thanksgiving, aloha and mahalo from Honolulu. Let's send you to Anaheim now.